What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And today we gotta talk about how hoes are not winning because apparently Kim Kardashian, who well, let me say this early, I don't consider Kim Kardashian a hoe because Kim Kardashian did not leak her sex tape. Her sex tape was leaked due to power that was out of her control. But at the end of the day, I can still teach a good message through Kim Kardashian. Because for those of you who don't know, St. West apparently was on his phone playing a game on his phone and he seen a video or advertisement of the video of his mom get her back blown out by Ray J. And he went to her and was like, basically, what's this? Now she got lucky in the sense that, sense that he was so young, he didn't understand what was going on. So she went, she talked to her family, she got her lawyers together. Apparently there's a rumor of another version, WAC 100 put it out there, that has even more footage than when that leaked. And she's like, I I know what to do now. I got my lawyer team assembled. I'll prosecute anyone who puts this out to the fullest extent of the law. But, but my thing is this. Kim, you had to know at some point the chickens were going to come home to roost. At some point, yeah, the Kardashians might have had money, but you were going to have to acknowledge that the fame came from that tape of you tooted up, getting your back blown out, and giving a 7-Eleven Slurpee to Ray J. At some point, you should have known you were going to have to acknowledge this. There's no reason why any of your kids should see or hear this from any other source other than you first. I repeat, there's no reason why your kids should have seen or heard this from any other source other than yourself first. Which leads me to the deeper thing. So many women today, okay, because it's trendy, we're in a whole culture. Because it's trendy, it'll get you attention. And we know attention is currency for women. It'll get you likes. So many women want to go on Instagram. They want to shake their ass. They want to go on on TikTok. They want to show their boobies. They want to be all out here pretending to be hoes, being halfway hoes, not even fully monetizing themselves. And one day, your son's going to go to the lunchroom. And when your son goes in the lunchroom, somebody's going to be on TikTok. They're going to be like, yo, this girl's ass mad fat. And your son's going to be like, let me see. And he's going to look, and it's going to be his mama tooting it up with one million views, getting her some attention for free because she didn't even fully monetize herself. And guess what, mommy? You're going to have to explain that. All y'all OnlyFans girls, okay? All y'all OnlyFans girls out here dropping it like it's hot, out here giving up 7-Eleven Slurpees, getting this fast money, okay? Which I don't know why you would make an OnlyFans anyway, because it's only going to be so long before your video leaks to Batty Hub, or your video leaks to She's Freaky, and not even was watching it for free anyway. <laughs> and then it's like, what are you going to do when you want to clean up your life? And this is the problem Kim Kardashian is running into right now. What are you going to do when you want to clean up your life? BBLs don't last that long, ladies. I repeat, BBLs don't last that long. The only career path that, or as short as being a sex worker, is an athlete. That's it. <laughs> and to be honest with you, sex workers have an even shorter lifespan than the athlete. The average athlete's career lasts four years. The average sex worker's career lasts two. So what are you going to do when you go outside and you're looking for your daughter and you find her in the back alley delivering a 7-Eleven Slurpee to somebody and you want to reprimand her like, girl, that's not how we move. That's some bird stuff. What are you doing? You too young. And she look at you and she say, well, mommy, that's what you did to the boy you like. What's going to be your response then? What are you going to say to your children? Like I said, what are you going to say when you want to clean your life up? When they find out you were stripping, they find out you was on OnlyFans, they find your Instagram page and you naked, they find your TikTok and you twerking. See, women have this goofiness to them where they do things in the short term because it's beneficial in the short term and they don't think about the long term effect of it. There's no reason Kim Kardashian shouldn't have had this conversation with her kids other than being goofy like a lot of women are and not thinking that far ahead of what she was doing. And then just going like, oh crap, I did make that tape. Yeah, you did. What did you think? Because you scrubbed the internet that they'd never see it? Let me tell you guys something. Once you put something on the internet, it's there forever. I repeat, once you put something on the internet, it's there forever. Somebody saved it. Somebody screenshotted it. Somebody screen recorded it. Somebody downloaded it. You can never completely get rid of it. This is why it's important to control your image. This is why it's important not to sell your soul for what's popping at the moment. I'll never forget this line. It's one of the best lines that I ever heard. And it was on Bel Air, and it was when Uncle Phil was explaining to Carlton why he bailed Will out. And he was saying, look, everyone deserves a certain chance. Will a good dude. He'd never been in trouble before. I don't regret bailing him out, but I need you not to say nothing about it. And Carlton hit him with that fire when he said, if you feel like you did nothing wrong, 
okay? And you don't regret it, then you would have told me about it and you wouldn't be telling me not to say nothing. I repeat, if you felt like you did nothing wrong and you didn't regret it, then you wouldn't have told me about it and you wouldn't be telling me not to say nothing. See, girls that go, they'll make only fans. Girls that go, they'll become porn stars, okay? They'll become porn stars like me and Khalifa. They'll become porn stars like Lana Rhodes. And then after they do it and the attention is done and now everybody's just looking at them as a bird, as a 304, now they didn't want to go, well, wait a minute. I want to change my life around. I don't want to be known for this anymore. I was pressured. You can't do that. Once you step into that hole, once you sell your soul in that way, it's gone. You can't get that back. It's gone. Devil got it. Put it in a lockbox. That's it. And the least you can do is put your big girl bra on, put your girl, girl panties up, and tell your kids what mommy did to provide for them. Tell your kids what mommy did to get her followers. But a lot of y'all don't even have the fortitude in those breastesses to do that and that's the bigger issue see the chickens will come home to roost i repeat the chickens will come home to roost so many women like i said feel the pressure to be that bad girl because the bad girls get all the attention and it seems like the bad girls are winning but they are not winning a lot of these girls are depressed a lot of these girls are on drugs like i tell you guys all of the time a lot of these girls are breaking down and if anyone was to find out that they were stripping if anyone was to find out they had only fans if anyone was to find out their kids were to find these things out a lot of these girls would break down a lot of these girls are wearing, living double lives. They like secret agents. They got double lives going on. They're two different people, okay? In the morning, they're Bruce Wayne. At night, they bat thigh. I repeat, in the morning, they're Bruce Wayne. At night, they bat thigh. They're living two different lives. A lot of them are. So you got to understand that. They're not winning. They've never been winning. They never will be winning. I'm Alex, and I'm out. Peace.